what's up guys it's Faye here welcome back to another video today as you can tell by the title I'm doing a $50 thrifted versus $50 Brandy Melville haul today try on haul I went to the thrift store specifically Plato's closet which is like where you like instead of like donating clothes you sell your clothes there so they tend to have like higher quality stuff than say somewhere like Goodwills because they only like accept trendy things from like the mall or something and usually like they're kind of picky about the brands too and I'm really picky with clothes too like I don't like anything too worn out because it just kind of looks ugly yeah I also bought $50 worth of stuff at Brandy's obviously it's not gonna be much so I'm wearing a dress today for once like so it's easier for me to strip down sorry that was unnecessary but anyways um let's just get to it so we'll do the um thrifted stuff first so honestly i feel like the things i got was pretty high quality if i would say so myself like i found this adidas like hoodie and like I was so lucky because it wasn't an extra small it fits me like super well so to be honest if they sold this in a girl item like I wouldn't have noticed or maybe it was just in the wrong place like just looking at it the tags and stuff it's it looks pretty new look at the tags it looks so new what the heck it was only $12 too so for adidas uh this is the adidas hoodie and I'm just wearing this with another like thrifted item that I got that I'll be showing you later in the video but like I said it fits pretty well and honestly I'm pretty sure it's new because the inside it's like not worn out or anything it's just it just feels like regular material you know okay next we have um this plain navy mahina shirt so it is like is this called cinch I don't know it's like you input like a waistband on here and I mean the waistband is just a little like crooked or like it's kind of messed up but that's no big deal so this is the it actually has tags on it too so that tells me it's new which is great so um this is in a size large but I think it fits more like a smaller medium but originally it's $22 and I got this for $10 I believe um if you guys don't know Mahina is a brand I think it's I'm pretty sure it's like a Hawaii brand so I don't think if you guys are from like somewhere else other than Hawaii you guys probably didn't haven't heard of this brand but it's like a pretty expensive brand they usually sell like dresses and stuff for like $50 okay next we have the Zaful shirt it just says friends on it it's just a plain white shirt it's actually a size medium I got this for $5 I think I mean it's not bad just by looking at the tags again it's not worn out or anything so I'm pretty sure this is like new without tags because I doubt anyone washed this too like there's like no stains on it and it's pretty like straight it's not like wrinkly or anything five dollars for just a plain t-shirt it's oversized on me but I can make it look cute by like tying it up or something okay so this is the Zaful friends shirt yeah it's a size medium so that's why it's like really long for me but honestly this is like a look it's like an oversized like look and you can just wear shorts underneath but it looks like i don't have any pants however i think i'd style it where i knot it in the front or like tie it somehow so it would look something like this if i tie it up and it'll look really nice like in the back it doesn't like there's like not too much extra fabric but i think this is a, like a really nice look Okay, I think this is our last top. So this is from, guess what? Brandy Melville. So it's a John Galt top and it has tags on it, which is great. Original, it's $18 and I bought this for $9. So 50% off is pretty good for a new John Galt shirt. This is how it looks like. Yes, it's another navy shirt. I think this is really cute. Like with the little, what is this called? Anchor? on it so. here is the john galt top so again this was new so um yeah it just feels like a regular like new brandy shirt it's just a little like simple design right here nothing in the back but it's like a really cute like top so i'd probably wear this really really often 
Okay, moving on to the shorts. So, um, this unfortunately doesn't have a tag, but I don't know if it's used or anything because it looks pretty new. I got this for $8. These are Paxson shorts. And honestly, just by looking at the tags again and just looking at the overall, like, material, I feel like this is new without tags. Or, like, maybe someone wore this, like, once. The ribs don't, like, the strings on the ribs don't look super used. It's, it just looks... It looks pretty normal, so I think, however, if this is not new, someone like took care of this pants like really well, or they just wore it like once. Okay, so here are the Paxson shorts. They're pretty stretchy. These are in a size 24, and they fit me really, really well. So yeah, like the rips and everything, like the folds over here too, it's like, it's not weird or anything, it's just normal. And the rips itself, um, I don't think you'd see it really well because there's not a lot of rips but it looks nice. I really like this. That's all I can say. This is a really good find for $8. Next, we got some Hollister shorts for $10. This is in a size one or 25 waist. So this is actually my size. And I believe this is low ride. Yeah, low ride. But yeah, these shorts are pretty worn out, but they look pretty nice in quality. Like, there's like no flaws pretty much. It's just a little worn, but actually maybe the only flaw would be like the part where the leg ends. Like you can see how this side it's folded, but that side it's just down. Okay, so here are the low rise Hollister shorts. So these fit me um, exact because I am a size 25 and this is a size 25. So yeah, like, like I said, the only like real flaw would be like this part right here. I don't know if I can fix that. I think I might just leave it. Does it like look too weird if like I walk around like this? Like, I don't know if that's too weird, but like at the same time, like the trends nowadays, it's like wear ugly clothes and then you'll look good. But I don't like how it's like not symmetrical. Like if this part is down, then like this part has to be down too, right? That just looks stupid. I don't know, I mean, I still like it, I'll find a way to fix it, but I'm probably too lazy and I'll just let it kind of like droop down If people like stare at my butt then whatever Okay last but not least we have these Forever 21 shorts These also have tags on it so they're new I got this for, well or it says $8 but um, when I went to Play-Dohs they were having their 50% off clearance I got these new Forever 21 shorts for $4. I copped this even though this was kind of unnecessary because the total came out to $58 without tax. Kind of went overboard on the $50 thing, but we can just do some quick math and make it closer to $50 and call that $50 thrifted. So I kind of cheated it a little bit, but we're just trying to compare what $50 can get you at, at like a thrift store versus $50 at Brandy's. Okay, so these are the low rise Forever 21 shorts. They're also in a size 24. Uh, they're a little tighter than I would like it, but they still fit me. Um, it looks pretty nice and I love that it's new too and I got it for $4. Okay, so I did some calculations. I don't know if it's like the best combination I could have done, but this is what I did. So um, I just took out the Mahina $10. Sure, honestly, this was like an impulse buy because I saw that it had tags on it. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna grab this because this is Mahina and their shirts are pretty expensive. In total, I got one, two, three, four, five, six things from the thrift store and it comes out to $52. $52. So. Um, only $2 off, so like, that's the $5 Friends Zaffle t-shirt, $4 um, new Forever 21 shorts, $10 Hollister shorts, um, $9 $8 Paxson shorts, uh, $9 John Galt shirt, and then the $12 Adidas hoodie. So we're gonna use these as the comparison for brandies. So it's a little messy over here, but let's go on to the brandy stuff. So in total from Brandy's, oh that's a Walmart receipt, total at Brandy's, oh this is a Paxson receipt, so $54 before tax, but technically one of the items 
aren't supposed to be there so it's more closer to 48 which is two dollars so it's okay if i do like a two dollar like um was it like error margin sorry like i'm not taking math right now and i don't know any of my math vocabulary so basically you can either go two dollars above or two dollars below the part where you're supposed to hit i guess $52 at the thrift store and then $48 technically from Brandy's. First item is this um, crop top that says North Shore Hawaii and it's in a navy color. Yeah, I don't know what's up with me in the navy color, but so this was $18. It's just like a simple crop top that just says North Shore Hawaii on it. So $18 is probably like one of their cheaper items and it's honestly not bad because it looks really cute. And here's the John Galt um, or Brandy crop top that I got. So this is the one that says North Shore Hawaii on it. So it's just like a basic crop top. Same with the, the other Navy Brandy crop top that I got from the thrift store. Uh, only this one is twice the price. But yeah, this is just a regular crop top and I'm wearing a brandy necklace with it and I don't know if the vibe matches because I'm wearing a black or like the dark color so maybe I look more edgy but this necklace is very feminine but I don't know you can barely see the necklace from here anyways so yeah and then our last brandy item is this red long sleeve I am in love with this like like it looks so good for some reason i don't know i feel like red looks good on me so i've never i don't have a red top so i was like okay perfect i can try this on there was actually two it was between this for 30 dollars or another red long sleeve but instead of like this basic like cotton material it was like sort of like a waffle texture but it was 34 dollars and it said like for sure on it but um i decided to go with like the more cheaper option plus because like i like the just like the regular material more than like waffle this looks so cute on me during the dressing room it's like yes i'm copying this here's the red long sleeve brandy top honestly this is going to be my favorite shirt for at least the end of this year i don't know i really love this shirt and how the red looks on me so this is what it looks like just like without anything just plain wearing it when i tuck it in it looks really freaking cute like this is such a look and i love it so much like i don't know why it just looks so good like the, the red and the black and you guys probably didn't notice because this is a crew neck shirt i am wearing the brandy necklace so i'm wearing the silver one right now um i probably wear the so i probably wear the silver one more than the gold because i think silver matches more with things um but i'm still gonna keep the gold anyways and i probably wouldn't wear this necklace with shirts like this because you can't see my neck um but i mean i guess if i wear it like this you guys can see it but i don't know if it like matches with the like the vibe of it like the rose gives me a very like feminine look this looks so cool i don't know mm, yeah this looks really cool okay so let's do the comparison so let's do brandy's first so we got one crop top and one long sleeve for around $50. At the thrift store, we got three shorts, two shirts, one being a crop top from John Galt or Brandy's, and a really nice Adidas hoodie. If you want to save money, definitely go to like a Play-Dohs or somewhere that buys clothes from other um, people because you're gonna find like probably the better items there like they're more higher quality right but uh i'm not saying that like going to goodwills you can't find like nice stuff i know like there's so many like other youtubers out there or like just people in general that goes to goodwills to thrift and they find like awesome items and it doesn't even have to be like branded items too it can just be like a regular like off-brand item and it would look like a brandy melville item but anyways, enough ranting. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because there is going to be more of it. Um, Yeah, subscribe if you like watching my terrible spending habits. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye!